Okay, so in the previous videos, we found these two, two sets of initial conditions, so voltage on the capacitor at zero, current at zero, and then the dVdt, dI dt. These two of all, out of these four, we're going to use to later solve for k1 and k2, the constants on the uh, solution for the differential equation. But right now, I'm interested in the differential equation. So as long as I have, you know, these currents and the three are in parallel, if you don't understand the circuit coming from here, please see the, the previous video. But now, I'm on step two. The differential equation that describes this circuit is... Uh, something like this and it's basically uh, the sum of all currents equal to zero but what's important here is that 2 alpha is this and the omega naught is this in the R of 1 over RC and 1 over LC give us the two, the damping, sir, the damping um, factor and the um, a resonant frequency. So I'm going to rewrite this equation up here, but now using the value. So now 1 over RC is 10 to the 6 divided by 4, oops, divided by um, 1K divided by 10 to the 3 and then LC is the 10 to the 6 divided by 4 and now I can write S squared plus 10 to the 3S plus uh, 250 10 to the 3 equals 0 so alpha and, and so this is basically the, the, the ODE this one and now I'm going to step 3, which alpha is 10 to the 3rd divided by 2, which is 500. Omega naught square is 25 10 to the 4, so omega naught is 500. Which means this circuit, because omega naught is equal to alpha, the circuit is critically damped. And this is the uh, step the end of step uh, three, critically damped. So in the next video, we're going to finish this by uh, writing the equation and, and finding the constants.